A Stripe Above, the story of the men who formed the nucleus of our nation's army, the non-commissioned officers. Presented by the American Forces Network Europe in cooperation with the 7th Army non-commissioned officers. Cavalcade of Comedy, 25 minutes of fun from the golden days of radio, starring the all-time favorites in their greatest performances of yesteryear. It's time to open AFN's Germany Notebook. Information, news, music, and sports. A daily service of AFN. Welcome to another in a series of programs devoted to Germany, its customs, and its people. From France, the American Forces Network Europe presents the Golden Record Gallery, a showcase of the most famous performances on wax. The AFN Playhouse presents Mother War Tights. This is the story of AFN, the American Forces Network, Europe. London, 1942. Generals Marshall and Eisenhower announced the creation of AFN. And on July 4th, 1943, AFN went on the air from London. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you're about to embark upon the Great Crusade. People of Western Europe. On June 6th, 1944, AFN broadcast the historic message of General Dwight D. Eisenhower. This landing is part of the concerted United Nations plan. In this poignant hour, I ask you to join with me in prayer. Almighty God. From the beaches of Normandy through the villages of southern France, AFN was always on the scene. You are listening to AFN Paris. This is the American Forces Network on the road to Berlin. The radio became a steady companion to our fighting men, who listened wherever and whenever they could. Gosh, that Hoagie Carmichael's certainly a talented fellow, isn't he, Jack? Well, yes, of course, all of us good songwriters have to be. These were years of success and bitterness. I am trying to see it. The drums are wrapped in black crepe. Colonel, this is our plan of... AFN is now 20 years old. Its present commanding officer is Lieutenant Colonel Robert Cranston. AFN reaches its widely dispersed audience through a network of radio and repeater stations. In West Germany, AFN has seven studios and 33 transmitters. In France, AFN has three studios and 30 transmitters, as provided by an agreement between the governments of France and the United States. We at AFN help our servicemen and women to recognize and appreciate their mission here in Europe. We keep them informed about why they are here, about events at home, about what is going on in the world. A lot of information is broadcast every day, but what goes out must, of course, be first received. AFN, headquartered in Herz, Germany, and operated by the Public Affairs Division of the United States Army Europe, is a joint military unit composed of Army and Air Force personnel. Program material is provided by the Directorate for Armed Forces, Information and Education, Department of Defense. Enlisted personnel are billeted in part of the charming 14th century castle. In contrast to the Frankfurt setting is the impressive AFN transmitter located at nearby Weisskirchen, emitting 150,000 watts of power, making AFN one of the most powerful radio networks in the world today. AFN has transmitters and stations at other sites too, 
Orléans, France, and in Poitiers, France, West Berlin, Kaiserslautern, Nuremberg, and Munich, Germany, to name just a few. But the story of AFN is the story of people, like Sergeant Lloyd Eyer, Chief Announcer Frankfurt, who is making a final check before his 6 a.m. newscast. The final moments before airtime might not seem tense to the casual observer, but to the program director, engineer, and announcer, there is no margin for error or guesswork. AFN World News in the Hour, compiled from the wires of AP and UPI. The four ministers of Britain, France, and West Germany are gathering in Paris for consultations on the latest Soviet note concerning Berlin. While the U.S. State Department has declined official comment on the note itself, observers say that the Secretary of State will join the Allied ministers in the French capital later this week. The U.S. Weather Bureau says Hurricane Edna, moving from the Bahamas toward the southeastern U.S., has definitely swerved out into the Atlantic. While a close watch is being maintained on the big storm, officials say it looks like the danger is past to residents along the Florida and Carolina coast. This summary of world news was compiled and edited in the AFN newsroom from the wires of AP and UPI. Army Sergeant Lloyd Iyer reporting the next news at seven hours. AFN uses the facilities of the major wire services of AP and UPI for world and stateside news. In order to broadcast 19 network newscasts daily, AFN relies on a diversified staff of announcers, reporters, writers, editors, and researchers. With this foundation, AFN stays on top of the news. The military and civilian news staffs at all AFN stations are experienced and highly qualified in the field of news broadcasting. AFN news policy requires straight, factual preparation and presentation without editorializing, distorting, or slanting the news. First of all, attribute the source here as a responsible source as opposed to using the actual... Briefings by senior newsmen assist the newscaster in assuring proper format and delivery of the news. What do you have as far as European is concerned? Well, I have an article from uh, Poland involves a train wreck. Uh... Service and spot well, announcements are handled in a similar manner. It's your support that keeps the Red Cross ready, ready for any emergency. Disaster knows no favorites. Tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, earthquakes can strike any time and do. When disaster does strike, its victims turn to Red Cross for aid and comfort. And Red Cross is ready. Red Cross is ready because of your help. Depending on their content and intended audience, they are aired from the various stations comprising the American Forces Network. See Berlin. Special Services has tours of East and West Berlin for military personnel. See the Brandenburg Gate, Congress Hall, the Wall, and many other famous sites. Make your reservations today. Serving the American Forces in the divided city around the clock, you're tuned to AFN Berlin. The SACOM Safety Council urges you to be safety conscious daily and enjoy life on the safety side. From the capital city of Bavaria, this is AFN in Munich. Je vais, tu vas, il va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont. Among the important features of AFN scheduling are its cultural and educational programs. Such a program is this one at AFN Orléans, France which teaches basic French to servicemen and dependents. Do you speak Anglais, English, Francais, French? From Frankfurt, passport to people, stresses European history, culture, and customs. ...places in which the Munsterland abounds. It is a region of moated castles and old manors, and a fertile countryside against which the red brick wide gabled farmhouses shine like garnets on green velvet. This then is castled Westphalia, land of ham, pumpernickel, corn, and beer. Daytime programming is designed to reach the varied interests of its audience. The art of cooking is explored weekdays. 
Good morning. This is Jean Vavrin from AFN in Berlin. And today on What's Cooking, let's watch the budget. It's Tuesday. We have a theme for every day, a suggestion for you, kind of a recipe box. On Monday, let's bake something, cakes, pies, or cookies. On Wednesday, let's have a party. AFN services all age groups. One of the most popular and well-received shows is The Story Corner, broadcast five afternoons a week from Berlin over the entire network. Featuring Pad Hicks and her magic bell, Ting, young listeners are enchanted by the stories she tells each afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Here's Ting and Pat, and here's The Story Corner. We had so much fun yesterday traveling on the flying carpet. What do you suppose we'll do today? Maybe after the excitement of travel, we should have a quiet story. What do you think, Tim? Tomorrow, we'll bring you the story of Peter Pan. But now, it's time to thank you all for listening and to say, until tomorrow, goodbye. For the teenagers of AFN, Accent on Youth. It's 5.30 and time for Accent on Youth. Accent on Youth is recorded and broadcast from Berlin for the teenagers. The two young people who host this show were selected after auditioning dozens of American teenagers attending the American Military High School in the divided city. Records played on Accent on Youth are selected from requests sent in by youthful listeners. Program content is supervised by AFN personnel. Good afternoon. It's time again for your teens from AFN Berlin. Bob Teneri and Sandy McQuarrie to spin your favorite records and announce the news of interest for the high school set here in Berlin. Bob, what's today's first dedication? Well, Sandy, it's going out especially to Christine from Bernie. And the title is It's Up to You by that big teenage idol, Rick Nelson. It's up, it's up to you Because I've done everything I can I hope, I hope that you At the American Youth Association in Berlin, the after-school crowd is on hand waiting for the records to spin. What follows is a cross-section of today's popular dance fads, the twist, mashed potatoes, and the Madison. AFN program directors feel that shows of this type, under careful supervision, provide a proper outlet for the teenagers. That I would give everything I own to have you near, never leave me all alone. I need your love, so darling. From yet another studio at AFN Berlin, an engineer prepares to tape a religious music program, Hymns from Home. Non-denominational, this program is only one of many which AFN broadcasts to American forces in an effort to provide spiritual and religious emphasis. Hymns from Home, voices of a free people lifted in praise to God. Give us quietness, O Lord, without inactivity, confidence without boasting, and the simplicity of an inner wealth. While Hymns from Home is a non-denominational network broadcast, AFN does include religious programs and services for all faiths at times most appropriate for that segment of the listening audience. Music is one of the staples of AFN programming. From Frankfurt, Invitation to Music is ready for taping. Master control, start rolling, please. Tape rolling? Rolling, sorry. Okay. Cue announcer. This is Invitation to Music. Theme. Yeah. 
Can put it 16 down. Take it down. Cue an answer. Invitation to music. A Sunday morning feature of the American Forces Network. The brilliant sounds of classical music designed for easy listening. This morning you'll hear music by Bach, Mozart, Copland, and Rameau. Still on I'll invitation take it up. to music. Take it up. Take it out, cue announcer. In realizing its basic mission of informing and entertaining American service personnel, AFN broadcasts regionally as well as network. Every AFN station has its disc jockeys who prepare the format for their particular music shows and select the records to be played. The DJ is responsible for content, style, and adhering to AFN's established policy of good taste and propriety. Listen, there's music in the air. Every program aired by AFN is selected for audience appeal and acceptance. Music in the air is aimed for the mid-evening listener who finds mood music with very little talk just right for relaxation and enjoyment. And welcome to Music in the Air. Music for the early evening, for relaxing, dining, or just easy listening. AFN Berlin, because of its geographical location, is a 24-hour operation. The midnight to dawn hours are filled by words and music on a show known as 935 for Night People. <laughs> up good friends guys and gals knocking out 935 for night people wrapping it up here your host mr midnight army specialist fred cochran our engineer this morning airman james mcgee and we'll both be back again same time same station for more 935 for night people that's it kids so we say bye bye now morning there you the all-night shift requires considerable alteration in duty hours for the military crew assigned to this show as the rest of AFN Berlin prepares for the day's program schedule, DJ Fred Cochran is closing up shop and getting ready to go home. With regional and network programs interspersed throughout daily broadcasting, AFN Frankfurt's master control room is the center of activity in maintaining technical control. Regional and network feeds are controlled by experienced military and civilian radio engineers. Would you increase your level slightly, please? No, I'm only picking up to about 60% here. Okay, fine. AFN remote units are constantly on assignment to cover stories whenever and wherever they occur. AFN reporters interview visiting dignitaries, statesmen, celebrities. They cover the events of the day to bring to their listeners a sense of being there as news is happening. From Checkpoint Charlie, a remote report is taped for a later news broadcast. Today we are at Checkpoint Charlie on Friedrichstrasse here in Berlin. 17 months later, after the wall of shame was erected, dividing East and West Berlin. Today it has been fairly quiet and it is a fairly cold day. And as we look across the wall, we can see the characteristic red and white checkered barriers that dot the area between east and the... 
Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Rocker NCO Club at Lindsay Air Station in Wiesbaden, West Germany. This afternoon on Weekend World, it's the music of Frank Cornelli and his orchestra for this Saturday afternoon. Here's an old tune now with a new twist. Matter of fact, it is a twist. The Jezebel Twist. AFN personnel are ready to go where show material exists. Recording equipment is of the highest broadcast quality. Recording engineers and special events directors are well qualified to handle the task of monitoring and supervising the recorded sound. Since music is such an integral part of AFN's program structure, AFN boasts the largest record library in the world. Records are acquired by AFN from the Armed Forces Radio and Television Service located in Los Angeles and New York. Music librarians catalog and control the utilization of these records. Through the efforts and cooperation of the major radio and television networks, recording companies, the unions and guilds, AFRTS services AFN with pre-edited program recordings. Music, variety, and information shows are thus available to the AFN listening audience at no cost to the military establishment. Devotees of classical music are not ignored by AFN. this afternoon has opened with the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. Arthur Fiedler has conducted the Boston Pops Orchestra. Outpost concert continues now with Otto Rino Respighi's The Pines of Rome. What listeners have to say is mighty important to AFN. Disc jockeys are expected to review all letters addressed to them. These letters serve as an excellent barometer to audience size and program popularity. From such audience response, AFN Munich knows that Stick Buddy Jamboree is the daytime favorite of their listeners. Just let me hear that theme just one more time. Well, a great big happy howdy to you out there, friends and neighbors. This is your old country buddy, Wagon Wheel Willie, coming at you on Stick Buddy Jamboree. Sit back and relax and enjoy 25 minutes of good country and western recorded music. Personal versatility and knowledge of all kinds of music are expected of the disc jockey at AFN. Everywhere and he's still going places by the days. Today we got a real pretty one coming up here for you by our good old country cousin Jim Reeves. And uh, we sort of reached back into Cobweb Corner this morning. Picked this one out by Jim. It's a real pretty one. Here he comes, Gypsy Heart. Oh, Gypsy Heart, when you hear the whistle of a train, you forget the promises you made down in the lover's lane. You forget the kisses warm, the way you held her in your arms. You forget the way you thrilled her heart with all your gypsy. 
Today, gentlemen, we're going to skip around the table just a little bit and uh, not go in any order of usual sequence. And because we're very interested in this particular subject right now... I'm Once a month, the commanding officer and his station staff meet to discuss the network operation. Every aspect of programming is covered by the respective chiefs of each department. The operation of a unique radio network such as AFN requires supervision and control not only of radio shows and program variety, but of the military personnel assigned to each of the AFN stations. It looks like we're going to be having quite an influx. How are your facilities to take care of them at AFN Franklin, Major Tillman? Well, as you know, sir, uh, we're a little tight on space. However, um, these uh, four or five men coming in will certainly be accommodated. Training requirements and military proficiency of servicemen stationed at AFN are part of the agenda. Frequent unannounced alerts are held to test and evaluate combat readiness. The Berlin crisis of 1961 is a constant reminder as to why training and practice alerts are necessary. Another reason for the popularity of AFN is the friendly civic and community relations maintained by AFN's participation in local custom and tradition. Each year at AFN Frankfurt, the residents of Hoechst are invited to the historic castle which the Frankfurt station occupies. The townspeople reciprocate by staging a colorful Schlossfest with traditional German hospitality, local color and music. Gun smoke. This is UCOM report. Filed each week from the military feature desk of AFN Europe. This is Spotlight, presenting the top events and personalities that influence our times. Welcome to the 68th edition of Survey. I am proud, and I think most Americans are proud, of a mutual defense and assistance program evolved with bipartisan support in three administrations, which has, with all of its recognized problems, it is to this soldier and his counterpart in the Air Force and Navy, along with American dependents, that AFN is obligated. They are the reason for AFN's existence. For 20 years, with the cooperation of the American radio and television industry and the American music writers and publishers, AFN Europe has served our uniformed men and women. AFN has responded to the needs and wishes of its audience with quantity and quality broadcasts. It can be said with pride, that the sounds transmitted have been loud and clear. This is the American Forces Network, Europe.